Welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. I hope you brought your appetite for breakfast or brunch. Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be cooking y'all some sausage and gravy. I cooked it, I cook SOS, that's uh, the same, I'll be cooking it the same way, but with that I use uh, ground beef, but I'll be using a uh, different sausage. And okay, I'll get with you with the ingredients. And here's the thing I'll be using. Of course, I'll be using some sausage. And I chose Jim and Dean. And it's a regular sausage. And I'll have some bell pepper. A lot of people don't use this, but bell pepper. And here's some yellow onion. Makes it taste so good. But if you do use it, make sure you chop it real fine. Because you most likely you don't want to see it. You just want to taste the flavor. And here's some flour that I'm going to thicken it up with. Here's some milk, whole milk. And here's pepper. I know I'll be using pepper. And here's the brown gravy mix. I season that with it. But now this right here, the, uh, this uh, 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 Rochester sauce, I probably won't use that. I might. If, uh, this season is real good, but if it's salty, I won't season. I won't use this. But here, these are things I'll be using. Okay, I'm taking this out the uh, package, you know, and cutting it up. I'm going to put the onions and the peppers in at the same time. And I'm cooking the cast iron skillet. I never, I haven't cooked in one in a long time. I hope this work out good. Most people say they cook good, so I'm gonna get do that. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take and spread these out. I'm like it's doing a good skillet. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and put some peppers over it so it can cook with the sauces. This is a simple meal. You can make this an entree. Don't put too much in just a little bit because it's going to disappear. I want to flavor with this vegetable. A lot of people don't put this in, and that's why it don't have that good taste in it. This helps a lot. I'm put a little bit of that in there. Okay, I'm going to mix this together. You can put your pep in here on this too. I'm going to put my pep on your meat. So you can see it on the sauce. Mm. It's still cooking. It's not sticking, but it's okay. Now, please don't put no uh, grease in this, you know, oil. But, uh, just uh, fry your sausage with it, with your vegetables. I'm going to put a little pep on here. I'm going to finish chopping this up and get back with you all. Okay, I broke the meat up, and here's the pepper. I put a little more pepper in there because I couldn't... I just want to add a little bit more. Even if you see it, okay, it doesn't matter. It makes it taste so much better. And I'm going to put some pepper in here. Those, the only thing I, so far I put in was uh, onions and bell pepper and some pepper. Okay. And this is what this here. I'm gonna, the thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my flour. This is so simple. Add some flour in here. This is all-purpose flour. You can add self-fries, and if you want, that's up to you. I just take about two uh, tablespoons and sprinkle across for that amount of meat. Let me see how this looks. And make sure that you take it and put it in here, and you want to add your milk. That's all to it. I might put a little... Now see, then this is the next thing you do. What I do, you put your brown gravy with this, with the flowers. Put that in here, and that seasons so good too. And this is not that's it's thirty uh, percent less sodium. Put a little bit more in here, and that make it taste good too. Make sure you always use the brown gravy mix. Okay. Now that's enough for that. Like I said, I didn't put any salt in, so you can use. You can feel free to use that. But this just make it taste so good. That, that mix good. It smells so good, y'all, with that, that onions and stuff. Try it if you like them, really try them. If you don't like them, the onions and the green peppers don't do it. So I'm gonna put a little, but then I'll be serving this with biscuit, y'all. I didn't tell you, I'll be serving this with some biscuit. Put a little milk in it until it gets thick and if, it's, if it looks too white, you can also add water in it. Put this in, I'm gonna let this get simmer, and I'm gonna get back with you. See how much milk I put in there? Let this get hot, and that's all to it. It's gonna thicken up, and that's it. 
so simple. I'm gonna get back with you. Put a little bit more milk in here. Okay. I'm seasoning this up and it's ready. I'm, I'm gonna taste it and see if I wanna put some of this in there. Which is just the sauce. I'm gonna taste it. If it's too salty, I won't. I hadn't. I haven't added any salt yet. Mm, this is so good, y'all. This is really good. Seasoned perfect. Mm, I'm going to put... So I'm so used to doing it. Let's see. I'm going to put just a tap in here. Just a tap. You're going to see how much I'm going to put in here. That's it. Because it don't really need nothing else. It is so good. I'm going to put this on the biscuits over here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve it. Get ready to eat this. This is delicious, y'all. And it looks good, too. See how it looks? This is how it's supposed to look. You don't see them. Just a little of those green peppers. Just a few. Because I added more for the taste. I'm going to put this on the plate. And I'm going to show you the finishing results. Here's the finishing touch of my sauces and gravy. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It tasted so good, y'all. Please just follow my instruction. And, you know, tune in to Maddie's Kitchen. Make sure you share this video with friends and family. And help me with my subscribers. Thank you very much and have a great day.